Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy and in this video series we're going to be looking at worked solutions to the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam which will be sat by students studying BTEC Level 3 Nationals in Engineering. Now the document that we're going to be referring to today are the sample assessment materials that are or have previously been provided on the Edexcel website and the document that we're going to be referring to in particular is Issue 1 of the sample assessment materials. Question 16 states, an engineer is testing an inductor with an inductance of 0.4 henrys and a resistance of 5 ohms. It is connected to a 240 volt 50 hertz AC supply. And the question asks us to calculate the current drawn from the supply. Now I've already made a quick sketch of our situation here. What we have is we have an inductor with an inductance of 0.4 henrys. But what it also tells us is that that inductor has an internal resistance of 5 ohms. So the way that we would treat this is as an inductor in series with a resistor as shown. We're given some data about our supply, we know it's an AC supply, it's 240 volts and it's 50 hertz. Now what we need to do for this question is we need to realise that resistance and reactance are not the same thing. And in order to find the total impedance in this circuit, we need to first find the resistance and the reactance and then combine them. But we don't combine them simply by adding them. Let's begin by calculating the reactance of our inductor, so x. And the formula for this is 2 pi FL. So the reactance of our inductor is 2 pi times the frequency which is given as 50, times the inductance of 0.4. So this inductor has a reactance equal to, multiplying that out, of 125.66 ohms. Now our units of reactance is still ohms. We also have a 5 ohm resistor. So the logical thing to do would be to look at these components and realise that they're in series and add those two resistances or the resistance and the reactance together. But in order to calculate the impedance, we need to use a new formula. Impedance is Z and we have Z squared equals X squared plus R squared. The reason for this is because our resistor is a resistive component whereas our inductor is a reactive component. They're slightly different. The inductor responds differently to an AC voltage or a changing voltage. So let's calculate our total impedance then. We get Z equals the square root of X squared plus R squared. So if we move on to the line below, we get Z equals the square root, X we just calculated, 1, 2, 5, 0.66 squared plus our resistance 5 squared and it's all of that square rooted giving us a z value equal to 125.76 and again our impedance is measured in ohms. So the question here is asking us to calculate the current drawn so we need to use the equation similar to Ohm's law where we say that V equals IR, but instead we say that V equals IZ, where Z is our impedance. Therefore I, dividing each side by Z, I is just V over Z. We're given these values, we're given a voltage of 240, and we've calculated Z, 125.76, Therefore, our current equals 1.91 amps. So just take care and recall that when we have an inductor and a resistor in series, we need to first calculate the total impedance in the circuit.